Did you know that natural family planning can be 99.6% effective at preventing pregnancy? But here's what's really interesting. Effectiveness isn't even the most important difference between these methods. We're going to be exploring what the latest research reveals about both methods, including some surprising findings about women's health that most doctors aren't talking about. Whether you're considering making a switch or just exploring your options, you deserve to know the full story. We will be covering the basics of both methods, comparing their effectiveness, their health impacts, lifestyle differences, and making the switch. I'm Viva and you're watching Peak Life, a show where we explore ways to live our best lives through health, fertility, lifestyle, and more, inspired by the natural approach of the Peak Day app. Before we dive into the differences, let's be clear about what we're comparing. Natural Family Planning, or NFP, isn't just about tracking your period on a calendar. It's a scientifically based method that helps you understand your body's natural fertility signs. Your body gives you clear signs about when you're fertile. Think of it like reading a map. Once you know what to look for, the signs are obvious. With NFP, you track three main indicators, your basal body temperature, cervical mucus changes, and other biological markers that tell you exactly where you are in your cycle. On the other hand, birth control works by actively changing your body's natural processes. Hormonal methods like the pill, patch, or IUD use synthetic hormones to prevent pregnancy by stopping ovulation, thickening cervical mucus, or preventing implantation. Non-hormonal methods like copper IUDs create an environment that prevents pregnancy. Here's what makes NFP fundamentally different. Instead of working against your body's natural processes, you work with them. You learn to recognize your fertile and infertile days, and then make informed decisions based on this knowledge. Modern technology has made this easier than ever. Apps like Peak Day help you track these signs and interpret them accurately, giving you a clear picture of your fertility each day. But unlike other tracking apps, Peak Day is based on the scientifically proven symptothermal method, which has been validated through decades of research. Let's address the elephant in the room, effectiveness. Many women tell me they're interested in natural methods, but worry they aren't reliable enough. So let's look at what the science actually tells us. A landmark German study published in the journal Human Reproduction found that the symptothermal method, the same method Peak Day uses, is 99.6% effective when used correctly. To put that in perspective, that's higher than the typical effectiveness of birth control pills, which is about 91% with normal use. But what do these numbers actually mean? Let's break it down. Perfect use of NFP. Less than one pregnancy per 100 women per year. Perfect use of the pill about one pregnancy per 100 women per year. Typical use of NFP, about two to five pregnancies per 100 women per year. Typical use of the pill, about nine pregnancies per 100 women per year. The key difference is in how these methods fail. With birth control, the most common reason for failure is simply forgetting to take the pill or taking it at inconsistent times. With NFP, most failures occur when couples knowingly choose to have intercourse during fertile times. In other words, it's usually not the method failing, but rather a conscious choice to take a chance. Now, I often hear people confuse modern NFP with the old rhythm method from the 1930s. That's like comparing a smartphone to an abacus. The rhythm method assumed every woman had a 28-day cycle, which we now know is only true for about 13% of women. Modern NFP, especially when supported by technology like Peak Day, works with your unique cycle no matter how regular or irregular it might be. What makes modern NFP so effective is that it uses multiple biological markers to confirm fertility. You're not just counting days or taking temperature. You're observing several scientifically proven signs that work together to give you a complete picture of your fertility. The Peak Day app makes this even more reliable by guiding you through daily observations, helping you interpret your signs correctly, providing clear fertility status indicators, offering access to trained fertility coaches who can review your charts, and sending smart reminders to help you stay consistent. But here's what's really interesting. Effectiveness isn't just about preventing pregnancy. Many women find that using NFP helps them achieve pregnancy more quickly when they're ready because they already understand their cycles so well. It's like having a fertility awareness superpower that works both ways. And unlike birth control, which can mask underlying health issues, NFP helps you identify potential problems early. Many women have discovered conditions like PCOS or thyroid issues through tracking their cycles, leading to earlier treatment and better outcomes. When we talk about health impacts, 
we need to look at both the short-term and long-term effects of these different approaches. This isn't just about effectiveness. It's about your overall well-being. Let's start with hormonal birth control. When you take synthetic hormones, they fundamentally change how your body functions. Think of it like this. Your natural hormone cycle is like an orchestra, with each hormone playing its part at exactly the right time. Birth control essentially replaces this orchestra with a simple recording. It might get the job done, but you're missing the complex interplay of your natural hormones. Common side effects of hormonal birth control include headaches and migraines, mood changes and depression, decreased libido, weight gain, nausea, blood clot risks, irregular bleeding. But what's particularly concerning is what we're learning about long-term effects. A groundbreaking study from the University of British Columbia found that women who started birth control as teenagers were 1.7 to 3 times more likely to experience clinical depression in adulthood. The researchers suggest this might be because hormonal contraceptives interfere with the brain's natural development during crucial teenage years. In contrast, NFP works with your body's natural processes. Instead of suppressing or altering your hormones, you're simply observing them. This means no artificial hormones in your system, no interference with your body's natural development, no masking of underlying health conditions, better understanding of your overall health. What's fascinating is how NFP can actually serve as an early warning system for health issues. Your menstrual cycle is often called your fifth vital sign because it can tell you so much about your overall health. When you track your cycle, you might notice irregular cycles that could indicate thyroid problems, unusual bleeding patterns that might signal endometriosis, changes in cervical mucus that could indicate hormonal imbalances, temperature patterns that might suggest other health concerns. The Peak Day app helps you monitor these health indicators by tracking cycle length and regularity, recording temperature patterns, noting changes in cervical mucus, identifying unusual symptoms, creating shareable charts for your healthcare provider. This information becomes invaluable when working with your healthcare provider. Instead of guessing about changes in your cycle or trying to remember patterns, you have concrete data to share. Many women tell me they feel more empowered in medical appointments because they can speak confidently about their cycles and symptoms. But perhaps the most significant health benefit is what NFP doesn't do. It doesn't mask symptoms or create artificial cycles. When you're using hormonal birth control, it can be difficult to identify underlying health issues because the synthetic hormones are creating an artificial rhythm in your body. With NFP, you're seeing your true cycle, which allows you and your healthcare provider to address any problems at their root cause rather than just treating symptoms. When we talk about lifestyle differences between NFP and birth control, we're really talking about how these choices affect your daily life, your relationships, and yes, even your spiritual journey. With birth control, your routine might involve taking a pill at the same time every day, dealing with prescription refills and managing insurance coverage. The average cost? About $20 to $50 per month plus doctor visits. And if you forget a pill, that can mean anxiety about pregnancy risk and backup methods. NFP with peak day takes about one minute each morning to check and record your temperature and another minute during the day to note your fertility signs. There's no prescription to refill, no monthly cost for medications, and after the initial learning period, it becomes as natural as checking your email. And here's where it gets interesting. NFP often creates unexpected benefits in relationships. Unlike birth control, which can be managed by one partner alone, NFP naturally encourages communication. Couples report deeper conversations about intimacy, family planning, and their future together. And let's talk about intimacy itself. Many women report feeling more connected to their natural cycles, more in tune with their bodies, and more empowered in their relationships when using NFP. Instead of suppressing your body's natural rhythms, you're working with them, which many couples find brings a deeper respect and understanding to their relationship. If you're considering making the switch to NFP, you might be wondering about the transition process. Let me walk you through how to get started and why you don't have to figure this out alone. The transition typically takes about three cycles to feel fully confident. During your first cycle, you'll learn the basics of tracking. By your second cycle, patterns start emerging. And by your third cycle, most women report feeling comfortable with their observations in the Peak Day app. Peak Day makes this journey easier by providing step-by-step -step guidance for daily tracking, clear color-coded fertility indicators, access to certified fertility coaches, educational resources at your fingertips, and a supportive community of other women on the same journey. 
One common concern I hear is, what if my cycles are irregular? The beauty of NFP is that it works with your unique patterns. Unlike older methods that assumed everyone had a 28-day cycle, modern NFP through peak day adapts to your personal rhythm. Remember, you don't have to make the switch overnight. Many women start tracking with peak day while still on their current method, giving them time to learn and build confidence before fully transitioning. And with our 60-day free trial, you can explore all of Peak Day's premium features and connect with our fertility coaches to ensure you're on the right track. If you're ready to understand your body better and take control of your fertility naturally, here's how to get started today. Download the Peak Day app. It's free in both the Apple and Google Play stores. You'll get access to detailed cycle analysis, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, advanced health tracking, and our complete education library. And here's what makes Peak Day different. We're not just another fertility app. We're a community of women supporting each other on this journey. Our fertility coaches are real people who understand both the science and the spiritual aspects of natural family planning. Join thousands of women who've already discovered the freedom of working with their bodies, not against them. Download Peak Day today and take the first step toward healthier, more natural fertility awareness. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe. I hope we've helped you live your peak life.